Hey guys, so today we're jumping into the full power stage of Extreme Super Battle Road here using the powerful comeback slash reps of Universe 7 team. Obviously every character on the team is on the full power category, so that is how we are able to create this team to be able to take into this event. Uh, pretty much, you know, a tournament of power based team, so that's why we're going to be bringing the Zeno support memory there. The only character that's not within that category is the Namek Goku, so he will not be receiving the benefit of that support memory, but everybody else will. So. Um, I assume the Evolution Blue Vegetas will probably be the ones to carry the run alongside Nim Goku, depending on what kind of enemies we're fighting. I actually have no idea what the enemies are in here, so if they're extreme class, that's really good. that's going to be really good for Nim Goku because remember he gets the extra buff when fighting extreme class enemies. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Uh, we have Roshi that's able to dodge. We have the Angel Frieza who can uh, seal up and uh, also dodge stuff as well. He can stun when he's transformed. So it looks like we do not have extreme class enemies here. Okay, <laughs> that's good to know. Uh, we have double evolution blue Vegeta and Namek Goku in the first rotation here up against Tien and Yamcha. Alright, so let's see sort of how they link up. I actually just kind of threw Namek Goku on the team. Just when I, as soon as I saw that he was in the powerful comeback category, I was like, okay, well, he's in. <laughs> That's how good he is. So we'll have him sort of here linked up next to the evolution blue Vegetas. They only do share two links, prepare for battle and fierce battle, so not... Well, actually, also legendary power. So I mean, it, it's it's all right. It's not the greatest pairing of all time. So Yamcha, obviously, being physical is going to be the main main uh, problem here. So I guess what we'll do is we'll focus on Tien uh, for the time being. At least going to be able to super with you. Uh, with Goku, we'll go ahead and grab this. Uh, are we even going to be able to super with Vegeta? Probably not. Because is this gonna? I'm trying to think. Because that. Yeah, because if we, if we got the other ones, it wouldn't have dropped the correct way either. So we're not, actually not going to be able to super with Vegeta. Going to definitely have to use a Whis. What is our defense here? 199. I think one Whis should be enough. Next rotation is going to be a physical, physical, and a tech unit. So I'm going to just grab these AGL orbs right here to free up some space in the middle. And we'll see how this goes. Of course. Thanks, Tien. Just the first attack has to be super. That's like the one thing I didn't want to see. Uh, it didn't even do that much damage. Okay. Alright, 2.7. I'm actually pretty surprised it only did that much damage. Maybe this is one of those stages where the enemies don't really hit that hard. 4.7 from Goku. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Ah, no, no additional. Alright, nice. There's the additional from Vegeta. So this is a 50% chance to crit because we did not super initially with him. Nice. There's the third attack. Okay, cool. I didn't super. So still have, obviously, the Whis active here. Um, I am probably just going to leave Roshi in the front there. Remember, Roshi does have a 50... No, sorry, 30% chance to dodge. So... It'll be nice to see him potentially get some dodges here. Uh, Goku and Frieza do lower attack. We're actually not going to be able to get the 18 key with Roshi, which is unfortunate. I'm going to actually go for the see if I can stun Yamcha here with this. I believe this has a great chance to stun. Uh, yeah, so a 70% chance to stun. That's going to be really, really helpful if we can get that off here. So I will go ahead and just give you this right here. Okay, and then now, Goku and Frieza will retarget to you. We'll grab that. That should drop the rainbow. And then we can go and attack you with the Goku and the end. Hopefully, we should be able to take out Tien here. Let's see. Still have the Whis active, so we should be fine. There's a dodge. Nice. 30% chance of dodge coming in clutch. And then obviously not the, not the best attack side ever, because he gets most of his attack from his 18 key super attack effect. But let's see if we can get the stun. Nice. All right, so he's stunned. Don't have to worry about him anymore. And if we can take out this Tien here, I mean, we're pretty much good to go for the rest of this fight, which is pretty good. So honestly, even though I would say that the rotations starting out weren't the greatest, we actually are holding our own here. And then obviously with the additional there, you saw the major jump in attacks, and that's just because we lowered uh, Tien's attack and defense. So uh, Frieza's, Goku and Frieza's passive, or just their attack, sorry. Goku and Frieza's passive activated, and did, they did end up doing more damage there. Now we're going to lower this guy's attack here, even though he's stunned, doesn't really matter. We get an additional? No, okay. 
Um, so we can activate Freeze's transformation. It's not really going to matter. I'm just going to keep things this way. And uh, we will have Vegeta get the super here. Five orbs here. I don't think I'm going to be able to super with Frieza. Oh, actually we can. Okay, perfect. So if we somehow don't finish Yamcha here, then we can at least have him sealed for next turn. So I think things are looking pretty good. Uh, and again, going slow through a lot of these fights is honestly not the worst thing ever because you can build up your Dokkan meter and then once you get to the final fight, you can potentially just one-shot them all with a Dokkan attack. Like, if we get to the last fight and we have a Dokkan attack built up for, like, Namek Goku, like a monster attack from Namek Goku, like a six or seven million attacks that, we just are going to win. <laughs> it's that simple. So we've got to keep our eye on that Dokkan meter as we move through this event here. And it looks like we did manage to finish him off there because we got some crits. So let's move on to the second fight here up against... This is Videl and Gohan. Is it a one-person fight here? And go to the trunks. Okay. Okay, what are their typings? So we have STR and Tech. Um, I'm tempted just to keep the rotations like this. What, what kind of links do these guys share together? Just Tournament of Power and First Battle. I think it's too important to have Roshi around. I'm going to go for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and seal... I have to grab those. We're going to go ahead and seal the Gohan and Videl with Roshi's 18 key super. Um, and then I'm also going to go ahead and pop a mouse just so that we don't instantly die. Uh, we do have a lot of health on this on this team just because we have a lot of LRs. 604,000 HP. Or 614,000 HP. Um, and then with Goku and Frieza, because we use the mouse item, Goku and Frieza's passive is going to activate as well, which means that they're going to be more damage. So I'm actually going to go and aim for the Goten Trunks just to see if we could potentially kill them here. It depends on how many additionals Vegeta wants to do, but let's go ahead and I'm actually going to grab this. Uh, I want to save those physical orbs potentially for next turn because we have the Goku and Vegeta LR uh, coming around on next turn, so they want to grab those physicals probably. Let's go ahead and do that, and we'll see how this works out. All right, so let's see how many attacks Vegeta wants to do here. There's one. We have type advantage over Goten and Trunks here, so getting crits is not really going to make a massive difference. Okay, there's two. If we can get a third attack here, that's going to be really, really nice because it's going to just add up to a lot of damage. Ah, it was a normal. Okay, that's fine. Still did a lot of damage to him, so... Uh, we'll have Roshi potentially get an additional here to start, try and see, uh, stun... Because he's going to seal them here, but I would obviously like the stun if he can get it. No additional damn. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, he didn't super us. So 2.7. Um, going to lower their attack. And then, obviously, the Gohan and Videl can't super because we just sealed them. So I think we should be okay here. Okay, well, they just didn't super attack at all. That's fine. Um, Alright, so these guys have three links here. That's a lot of attacks in the front. And this is actually really good the way that this worked out, because we, we know that Gohan and Videl can't super attack, and their attack is lowered. So we're going to just take this time to build up Vegeta's defense, and he's not. we know that he's not going to get super by Gohan and Videl. So we're going to have his full passive active before Goten and Trunks can even attack. So this is, honestly, this is like the, the ideal scenario for Vegeta. We got pretty lucky with the ordering of the attacks here. Um, I mean, we can't super with Vegeta. You know what? I might do this, just to get the damage in. This, I think, makes more sense. Uh, because, again, Gohan and Videl can't super. And then if Go Goten and Trunks want to super me with type disadvantage, I'm not going to take that much damage anyway. So, honestly, I'm just going to I'm just gonna do this. This, this. this just makes more sense to me. So let's do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Let's drop the Rainbow Orb there. And then we can definitely finish off Goten and Trunks by the end of this turn if we do that. All right, so we're looking good. I'm going to get the two attacks guaranteed by Namek Goku here. They didn't even super at all. Okay, well, 3.7. Uh, remember, Goku does get stronger in slots 2 and 3, so uh, unfortunately we're going to sacrifice some of that offense, but we have two guaranteed supers here, so I think it was definitely worth doing this. Plus, we're going to get two stacks of defense here as well, so if they want to super after this and we don't kill them, they're going to actually do like a zero damage, so... Uh, no matter which way you slice it, this was, I think, the better option. Still no super attack. Okay, well, Vegeta will take care of them. And then we'll be able to lower the attack on the Gohan and Videl again with the Goku and Vegeta because they're 
Super Dark Effect lowers attack, and we know that they can't super because they're sealed. So, so far this run has actually been going pretty smoothly, I think. Um, I mean, a lot of these characters don't really share a lot of links with each other. Like, we're seeing Evolution Blue, Vegeta, and Goku don't, uh, don't really share that many links. They only share two links with each other. But because of how strong they are individually, it's just, like, they're just dominating the stage. <laughs> right, so we'll lower their attack here. If we can get an additional super, we can lower their attack again. We, we did not. Okay. Um, all right, so they are no longer sealed, but I'm going to put Vegeta there. 203,000 defense. They've had their attack lowered a decent amount of times here. Let's go ahead and just gr give him that. Roshi will be able to seal them up again with this, and then Freeze at the end uh, will be able to lower attack and seal. So, looking pretty good. No super right away, which is what we want to see. 3.5. I mean, there's a chance we can kill him here with Vegeta, depending, <clears throat> depending on how many attacks he wants to do. Not very likely. Yeah, he didn't crit there either. And he didn't even do an additional. Okay, well... That was a pretty unimpressive performance off offensively from Vegeta. Actually, 131k is really, really not that much at all. Okay. So we'll seal them up here. Nice. And let them dodge. And then we're going to lower their attack again. And at this point, this match is pretty much, or this uh, fight is pretty much in the bag here. Nice crit. There's an additional. Remember, this Frieza does also stack defense too. So if you ever got hit. Um, he's going to get that, like, the one-time, well, not one-time, but he needs to get hit to get his attack and defense buff, and then from that point on, he's going to have a ton of defense to play with. Um, I mean, I guess we could use the Vegeta active skill. I'm trying to think about the Dokkan meter here. They're sealed, so they can't super. I mean, honestly, I think it's better just to get the orbs here, because we want to get as close as we can to the Dokkan attack. I'm going to go ahead and grab... How many? How much defense does Goku have? 256,000. Let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, we'll grab this, and we'll grab all those tech orbs with Goku and Vegeta to heal... Or Goku and, uh, and Frieza to heal up. And get closer to that Dokkan attack. I. It's looking like we probably won't get the Dokkan attack here, which is honestly fine. Um, but if we can get closer to it, might as well do it. Right, so we'll take them out here, and then we'll move on to the final fight. Which... I don't remember who it was. It's Goku and Vegeta, and then... Who else? And Gohan and Videl. Right, Saiyan Man 1 and 2. Alright, well... Uh, I guess we're putting Roshi in the front. Uh, we'll go ahead and seal Goku and Vegeta here. Actually, dude, I'm so tempted to just do this. Is there a reason why I shouldn't just use a Whis here? And then just do this? I feel like this is just the play. Just to give as much give him as much damage as possible. We're getting hit three times first by the int character, so I mean this is this is better, I think. And then I'm gonna go for the stun on you. How do I wanna do this? I wanna try and drop that rainbow. Actually, if we do this. Yeah, this is this is better because we'll drop the rainbow. We'll, we'll be able to get those three physical orbs and the rainbow orb. <clears throat> so we'll redirect here, do this, and we can get an ATK super attack with the rainbow orb. So things are looking pretty good. Uh, with the Whis active, this should do like almost zero damage. Like honestly, like like 30k, 12k. Yeah, we're we're definitely good to go here. There's like almost no way that we lose. This is gonna do. Not that a lot, even though it's type disadvantage. How much does this do? <laughs> Actually nothing. Okay, well. <laughs> Alright, Vegeta. We can get some crits and additionals. That would be great. Uh, gra oh, great. You, did, you didn't crit and you didn't give us any additional. This friend, by the way, has 24 additional. Vegeta has looked really, really good in this event in terms of defense, but offensively, he's definitely let me down. <laughs> it's no doubt about that. It's, whatever, it's fine. No stun? What? That's crazy. He has a 70% chance to stun. Alright, well, hopefully we can get an additional from Goku and Vegeta, right? You guys can give me that. Additional? Additional? After this, additional? Additional normal. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, well, um, not the most impressive of turns ever, but that's okay. Uh, I am going to do this, actually. I'm going to have Goku focus on you. Still have the Whis active, so there's not really much to worry about, I don't think. Vegeta. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you this. 
And then with Frieza, we'll seal up you. Should be good to go here. We are actually getting pretty close to that Dokkan attack. We're either not going to get the Dokkan attack, or we're going to get it in a situation where the enemy is left on, like, 1 HP, and we don't even need it anymore. <laughs> Alright, Goku stacking up defense. I would like to get one more super with a crit or something. We need, we need to do some damage here. I would like to, take, I would like to kill this, this uh, Goku and Vegeta on this turn. Not looking likely, though. Alright, and Vegeta... 3.25 is pretty good for a 12 key super. No crit. All right, there's the additional though. Yeah, my Vegeta has 25 additional, like basically the maximum amount you could have. So, guaranteed crit. Thank you. Can we get one more? Oh, okay, okay, okay. We actually could, could take him out here. How much? <clears throat> how much does this do? Let's see. Can this take them out? No, are you kidding me? They lived in their supering. <laughs> Thanks, bozos. <laughs> All right, so we'll seal them up. Uh, of course, they have to live with like one health. And right, we'll get our buffs going here. All right, so I actually. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna take them out here with this. Let's let's do that. Vegeta. We'll do this. Honestly, this is over. We're gonna get the Dokkan attack here. I didn't think we'd actually get one here. Okay, that's fine. Goku and Freeze are gonna launch a Dokkan attack. How much is this? 6.5. Yeah, it's because their uh, attack and defense was lowered. Well, that's game over. <laughs> Pretty, honestly, a pretty easy stage. I think, I think the thing with this stage was is that the enemies just weren't tuned as high as a lot of these other stages were. That, that's how it felt to me. Um, because a lot of these enemies didn't really hurt. Even even though we mainly had items up for the majority of the run, it just it didn't feel nearly as bad as some of these other stages that we fought against recently. So, Anyway, pretty smooth run here. I assume Vegeta will be able to take out the Great Saiyan 1 and 2, and if not, Roshi will come through and take him out. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you all in the next one.